Welcome to Piston Pundit, your ultimate pit stop for the latest automotive insights. Today, we're taking a hard look at Europe's industrial slowdown and why it's sending shockwaves through the global economy. Europe's manufacturing sector is facing an unprecedented crisis, from soaring energy prices to fierce competition from China. As industries like automotive manufacturing struggle to keep pace, the future of Europe's industrial dominance is at stake. Let's dive into the eight key reasons behind Europe's industrial unraveling and why it's more alarming than you might think. Reason number eight, energy crisis, a battle on two fronts. Europe's energy crisis is a major hurdle for its industries, particularly energy intensive sectors like steel, chemicals, and automotive manufacturing. Rising energy costs, driven by the EU's green energy push, are squeezing profit margins, especially in countries like Germany, once a manufacturing powerhouse. The transition to renewable energy is still underdeveloped, leaving Europe vulnerable to high prices. In contrast, China benefits from cheap energy sources, including coal, which powers its manufacturing sector. This creates an uneven playing field, as Europe's rising energy costs hinder its ability to compete with China's low-cost energy model. Europe's pursuit of sustainability is laudable, but without stronger infrastructure, it risks falling behind in global manufacturing. Reason number seven, the struggles of Germany's automotive giants. Germany, home to iconic brands like Volkswagen, is facing major challenges in the automotive sector. Once a symbol of engineering excellence, Volkswagen is struggling with declining sales and stiff competition. To remain competitive, it has shifted production to China, where labor costs are lower and demand for electric vehicles is booming. The entire German automotive industry is feeling the pressure as it struggles to adapt to the global shift toward EVs. Meanwhile, Chinese companies like BYD and NIO, having embraced EVs early on, are dominating the market supported by state subsidies and consumer incentives. Europe's automotive giants are now playing catch-up, and many fear it may be too late to reclaim their former dominance. Reason number six, textile industry, caught in a web of sustainability mandates. Europe's textile industry is another sector under siege. Struggling with strict EU regulations on recycling and sustainability, European textile manufacturers are struggling to meet ambitious recycling goals. The EU's new recycling mandates have put pressure on the industry, but Europe lacks the necessary infrastructure to handle such massive recycling demands. While the continent pushes for sustainability, China's advanced recycling capabilities allow it to maintain a competitive edge in this space. As a result, European textile companies are increasingly relying on Chinese infrastructure for recycling and production. This reliance on China only deepens Europe's dependence on foreign manufacturing and further undermines its ability to remain competitive in the global market. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next point. Reason number five, China's manufacturing powerhouse, cost efficiency and scale. One of the most significant factors contributing to Europe's industrial decline is China's ability to produce goods at unmatched cost efficiency and scale. China's state-backed subsidies and large-scale manufacturing operations allow it to dominate sectors such as green technology and automotive production. Europe simply cannot match this level of efficiency. China's government heavily invests in industries like EV production, making it possible for Chinese companies to outcompete European manufacturers on price and production speed. Meanwhile, Europe's fragmented policies and complex bureaucratic systems make it challenging for European companies to scale up and compete with China's streamlined, state-backed system. While China pours billions into research and development, European companies struggle to keep up, often hindered by red tape and financial constraints. Reason number four, technology transfer. Europe's lost edge. Europe's role in the development of cutting-edge technologies has been challenged by its own decisions. In a bid to access the Chinese market, European companies often shared crucial technologies with Chinese firms. 
Over time, these technologies found their way into Chinese hands, allowing them to leap ahead in sectors like electric vehicles and renewable energy. What was once Europe's strength has now become a source of vulnerability. Chinese firms, powered by these technologies and significant state backing, are outpacing their European counterparts, particularly in the EV sector, where Europe is now reliant on China for vital components like batteries. Reason number three. China's Belt and Road Initiative, a strategic advantage. Another key element of China's rise is the Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI, a massive trade network that spans across Asia, Africa, and Europe. Through this initiative, China has secured vital trade routes and built infrastructure projects, allowing Chinese manufacturers to access new markets and critical resources. In contrast, Europe's fragmented policies and lack of unified strategy have made it challenging for European companies to compete on the same scale. As China strengthens its global position through the BRI, Europe's lack of coordination undermines its ability to assert its dominance in international trade. Reason number two, missed EV opportunity, Europe's struggle to keep up. The EV industry has become the most significant battlefield in global manufacturing, and Europe's automotive industry is losing ground. While companies like Volkswagen and BMW were slow to transition to electric vehicles, Chinese manufacturers such as BYD and NIO seized the opportunity early. With state-backed subsidies and a focus on affordable, high-quality EVs, these companies quickly gained market share. Europe's fragmented policies and inconsistent support for EV adoption have left its automakers struggling to catch up. Adding to the challenge, Europe is now dependent on China for key components like batteries, weakening its competitive edge in the automotive sector. Reason number one, global trade dynamics, China's leverage. Europe's trade vulnerabilities are perhaps the most significant factor in its decline. The continent's heavy reliance on Chinese imports, ranging from rare earth minerals to electronics, limits its ability to push back against China in trade negotiations. Despite attempts to impose tariffs or restrictions on Chinese goods, Europe's dependence on China for essential materials makes it difficult to take a strong stance. China has exploited this dependency to its advantage, using trade agreements and export restrictions to further its global manufacturing dominance. As the U.S. shifts its focus to green industry investments, Europe is left to navigate a precarious position, caught between Chinese dominance and American competition. The road ahead for Europe, can it reclaim its manufacturing dominance? With these factors in mind, Europe faces a tough road ahead. To recover, it will need to make bold investments in key industries, strengthen its supply chains, and adopt a more unified approach to policy. Europe must balance its green energy goals with fostering innovation to reclaim its position as a global leader in manufacturing. The clock is ticking, and Europe's next move will be crucial in determining whether it can reassert its industrial dominance or continue to fall behind. But what do you think? Is it too late for Europe to reclaim its manufacturing might? Or is there still a chance to turn things around? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear your take on what's next for Europe's industrial future. Make sure to subscribe to Piston Pundit so you don't miss the next update on global manufacturing trends and vehicle insights. Thanks for watching and see you next time.